the continuing fallout from Andrew Thorburn's sacking as Essendon CEO because he was also chairman of the City on the Hill Anglican Church and the footy club Thought Police, who wouldn't let him be both, well, it's becoming a watershed moment for religious freedom in this country. Now, let's be clear what's happened here. He's been sacked or forcibly resigned for something said nine years ago by someone else that he didn't know about and doesn't agree with. But because one of the pastors at his church made the orthodox Christian points that almost every religion shares that sex outside marriage is sinful and that widespread available abortions out of step with the Bible, Thorburn is out of a job. And this is a country that's supposed to believe in and practice religious freedom. Now, how can there be religious freedom if you can't have a private religious belief without risking your job? And what sort of state is Victoria, where the Premier's first response to Thorburn's sacking was to denounce bigotry, not the politically correct bigotry of the footy club, but the supposed bigotry of the Anglican church pastor and the implied bigotry of the man who's the council's chairman? Now, a lot of Essendon supporters would be asking themselves now if they're still welcome at a supposedly inclusive club that isn't inclusive enough to have as their CEO someone who's a believing and identifiable Christian. After all, roughly half of all Victorians still identify as Christian and about a fifth as Catholic. And anyone who knows anything about Melbourne knows that the Essendon area has long established Catholic links. And certainly, well, there's one Catholic who's reportedly torn up his Essendon ticket and given a well-merited serve to Daniel Andrews. And that's the Archbishop of Melbourne, Peter Comensoli. Now, in a statement to the Herald Sun newspaper today, the Catholic Archbishop said that the Premier's comments were harmful and divisive, and that Victorian society was in big trouble if that was a reaction to people who expressed their faith. The Anglican Archbishop of Melbourne, Philip Freer, has also criticised the Premier saying that tolerance has to go both ways. And I, so I'd rather the Premier lead us from that point and say, as a society, this is sometimes it's hard work, it takes tolerance, it takes understanding, but it, it takes some work. And, and you kind of get the, the bit of the pile on uh, here, and I, I just think it's misjudged. I don't think it's, it's not edifying to the kind of society that we can be if we show some, uh, a bit more patience, take a bit more time, a bit more tolerance to understand the situation and bring it all into a balance. Today, the Premier defended himself as a committed Catholic. I'm a Catholic. I send my kids to Catholic schools. My faith is important to me. Everyone should be treated fairly. And for me, that's my Catholicism. That's my faith. Even though in his time as Premier, he has legalised euthanasia, further liberalised abortion and made it legally possible for someone to change their sex every year. And then there's lots of committed Catholics and Anglicans, people like Andrew Thorburn, who are pretty easygoing about what others believe. And they don't want the law to get in their way. Now, what I find interesting, though, is how the Prime Minister has hidden from this issue for the past three days and the media or they've let him get away with it. It was only a few months ago when he was chasing votes in the campaign that Anthony Albanese proclaimed this during the Channel 9 leaders' debate. I uh, came out of the womb as a, as a believer with three great faiths, uh, the Catholic Church, South Sydney Rugby League Football Club and the Australian Labor Party. That's Campaign Albo, now he's in the lodge, he says nothing to defend Andrew Thorburn and all people of Christian faith more broadly. Don't forget, he says there, he's a Christian. When NAB CEO Thorburn, as I said last night, well, he openly supported the establishment of Pride events and there was never any issues with his management of the bank's diverse staff of 35,000. If a person so obviously capable and so palpably broad-minded as Thorburn can be felled by an activist witch hunt, no one with a publicly known Christian viewpoint is safe. And no Prime Minister, let alone one who says he's a man of faith, can let that stand unchallenged. And for those in Victoria, 
Well, your time will come in November. Let's just see if you use it.